some of Fred Gilder. We'll be discussing techniques on how to deal with cyberbullying in classrooms. A lot of you all may already know what cyberbullying is. Cyberbullying is. Um, this is a, a quick definition for it. Um, would somebody like to read it? Cyberbullying or cyber harassment is a form of bullying or harassment using electronic means. Cyberbullying and cyber harassment are also known as online bullying. It has become increasingly common, especially among teenagers. Cyberbullying is when someone physically seems bully or harass others on the internet, particularly on social media sites. Okay. How many of you all know someone who's ever been cyberbullied? a lot of us do. It's not a good thing. There are different types of cyberbullying. I put a few, a few of them up here for you. Uh, one of them is claiming, and I have the definition for you. Online fighting using electronic messages, angry and vulgar languages, harassment and stalking. We all know what harassment and stalking is, but do I need to go over it? Okay. Degenerating. Like sending naked pictures and stuff like that, impersonating, act like you're somebody that you're not, outing or trickering, engaging someone in instant messaging, tricking them to reveal sensitive information that is so wrong, um, exclusion, intentionally excluding someone from an online group, cyber stalking, repeated intense harassment. It, it gets no better. And studies show that. People that were cyber bullied, they felt hurt, sad, anxiety, depression, um, anger. Shame, fear, frustration, low self-esteem, inability to trust someone. Um, when people have been a part of this, they tend to go through withdrawals, poor academic performance. Some people have even went as far as to killing themselves and suicide. Rachel Nesbitt and Patrick Ryan are two young people that I found out about on the internet that had been killed, that killed themselves because they were being bullied. Now that we know what cyberbullying is, I'm gonna help you to understand and deal with it in my classroom. As your teacher, I will open a line of communication. And if you're afraid, Okay, and if you're afraid to be open, I'll have a secret box to let, for you to let me know if someone bullies you. Bullies get satisfaction from seeing others cower in the case, create distance from them. Also, many times bullies are people who are actually hurt or who've been through things like that with their self. But in my classroom, I will not tolerate this. And at the bottom, I'll put in here a waiver for you and your parents both to sign, and it will count as a major grade. And these are some characteristics I would like to show through my classroom is be a model, be model inclusive, empathetic and kind behaviors. Sit or walk with kids who may be targets, may be targets of bullying. Question the bullying, question the bullying behavior when it happens. Enlist friends to question bullying behaviors as a group. Report bullying to a trusted adult. Talk to a person being targeted privately. So if you see something going on, make sure you let me know or know the adults. And I also want all of my students to be upstanding with not being directly involved in cyberbullying. 